Jay Stunnel here. Check it out, we got a blue crab. And this sucker's huge. Real big. Now y'all y'all know this is one of the major uh, fishery. This is a major fishery uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, this thing is, I guess, up on the beach. We had a lot of rain uh, this last couple of weeks, and uh, I guess you know who knows who knows why this thing's uh, up here on the beach. Although I, when you know, I'm a big surfer, and I see these things uh, whenever I'm getting in the water, and they're. I mean, there's a bunch of them uh, in the bays, uh, you know, in the ocean, and they actually have a really cool life cycle where you know they're up in the bays growing up and everything and then the females they'll actually once they get all their eggs and everything they'll go offshore they lay their eggs offshore and then uh, those eggs drift back in with the tides through the passes and then are distributed out you know throughout the uh the bays and so those seagrass beds that you hear a lot about and in texas we have these rules where you can't uproot seagrass with your boats and stuff like that it's because that is the nursery grounds for not only the crabs the baby crabs growing up like this for the fisheries but all the fish we like to go fishing for the shrimp we like to eat uh, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, this one was huge and I thought y'all might like to see this up close and personal It's got sand on it like it was hanging out in the mud or something like that, which is what they like to do You know, they feed on uh, You know various things kind of scavengers uh, out in the bays eating whatever they can find um, and people like to eat the claws you might also see in the restaurants where uh, when they molt so as they get older, they get rid of the hard shell. It becomes a soft shell that gets hard again. And so they, they kind of, kind of like a, uh, I guess similar to a snake, you know, snake will shed whenever it's growing and getting bigger. Um, similar with this thing. Now look, this guy's mad. And he's, he's, he's real active. Let me see if I can move this around for you. Now look at this guy. Wow. Now, I don't want to mess with him too much because I want to give him a chance to get out and, uh, you know, experience life. But whenever you, you hold these things, you got to hold them from the back end back here. Now, now, look. Oh, he's probably going to, I hope he doesn't get me. Okay, there. You see that? I don't know if I had the camera right. But this is how you have to hold them. I've shown you how to hold the... Um, ghost crabs you hold those kind of in the eye sockets and i would say you know you don't want to be messing with these if you don't have to but uh you know a lot of people like to eat them and stuff like that so what a cool animal and and the uh, giant blue crabs you can hold those similar to the ghost crabs uh, these you hold uh, on that back swimming leg these are good swimmers you'll see you know they have their um uh, they're considered a decapod deca means 10. Uh, you can see that they have 10 legs. The back legs are like flippers. And uh, they have this really pretty blue color. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna take him down here to the water so that uh, he can really have a chance to, to make it. You know, I'm worried. Out here on the beach, we do have a lot of coyotes. Um, you know, there's there's actually some some birds that might try to come eat this guy, and so we want him to have the best chance of survival so that he can make some new ones. Okay, let's let him down here, and the the tide uh, is coming up, so he had to he had to be fine here. Okay, buddy, we'll see ya. Hopefully we don't see you and you make it, uh, you make it many years. Okay. Adios. Look, he's waving at me. <laughs> okay. Thought you all would be interested in seeing the blue crab today. We'll talk to you later. Bye.